Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys have a great Friday, and thank you guys for joining me talking all things Masters of the Universe. Today on the channel, we'll be looking at the final single carded figure of Wave 9 in Origins, and that is Pighead, the wicked enemy of Sun Man. And here he is. Of course, the, you know, the worst bad guy out there, because um, he's the only bad guy so far in the Sun Man line. And I say it so far because you never know. Maybe Mattel will create more figures in the Sun Man line. You know, maybe some female figures, some more bad guys for him, you know, for for Pighead to, you know, rule over and stuff like that and, and control and stuff like that. So, yeah. There he is, of course, with the Sun Man sticker in the front of the packaging. Those red, you know, lava rocks blasting from the, you know, from the uh, card that we all know with that vintage view and look with the Master Universe logo coming from those red rocks. Of course, the 40th anniversary sticker in the top left corner. And we'll flip it around to the back to show off some absolutely incredible artwork. And this is the wizard that transformed uh, Pighead. Pighead was once a prince, an evil prince. And for his crimes, he was transformed into Pighead. I think his name was Prince Zegor. And of course, there is the, the shot of him with his weapons. And you can pose him as you wish. Of course, all the other figures in Wave 9. And I've done review for each of them. If you'd like to go back to my channel... And look, please do. All right. We'll flip it back around. Of course, with a new wave comes a new comic. And here it is. And I'll do a brief summary real fast. A quick look at this particular comic. And of course, all the figures in Wave 9. Single carded figures. Now, the, the deluxe figures like Leech and Snout Sprout, or Sprout, um, have their own different comic book and stuff like that. So it will be different from this particular comic book. Alright. There he is. Now, we did get a second version, or a, uh, another version of him in that Target exclusive pack and I have that right here and I'll put them next to the single carded version from Wave 9 and for the most part like 90 I would say like 99% of him is the same same exact figure and also I want to mention that we did get a Masterverse version of Pighead so this has been quite a few times you know that we've been able to get pighead in our collection and hope you guys have you know been able to get at least one pighead in your collection but there are some slightly differences of the target exclusive and the you know the regular single carded version of pighead and i have both versions with me loose first we'll look at the single carded one and i'll put them right next to this so this is the single version carded version of him okay and I'll put the, the Target exclusive version next to him. Alright. So with the Target exclusive, the shield and like the wrist bracelets and his horns and stuff like that, even there's a, a, a much bigger pink ring in the center of his shield, it has a much glossier like shine to it. Where the normal version, the retail, single carded version, does not. So you can see this is the retail version. And you can see in the center that there is a smaller pink ring in the middle. Where the Target exclusive has a bigger pink ring. And you can see the wrist bracelets from the single carded version. It doesn't have that shine, that, that, that glossy finish. Then the uh, Target exclusive... And I hope the camera is showing that off, guys. If it's not, I apologize. You see the shine 
or like that, that glossy finish on his horns where the normal single carter version does not but other than that it's the same exact figure you know there's no you know major differences between the figures between you now pighead himself it's just his shield his bracelets you know on the target exclusive has like i said like it has a more glossy finish sparkle to it where the single carded version of him does not alright guys there you go but they both you know you know function the same they still have the same function you can move the head around I'll put you know if you wish you can move the head around you can pop the head off, you know, and you put another person's head on there if you wish. You can, you know, change it however you wish. You can twist the body. You can take the, pop the body off right there. You can pop it back on. You can customize it however you wish, guys, you know. And I do hope that, you know, you know, we will get more figures and stuff like that in the Sunman line. You know, I hope maybe Mattel will give us new figures and new characters. Like, maybe some female figures in the Sunman line. Some more bad guys, like I said. Because it's been a real joy and, you know, and fun collecting, you know, the Sunman line. And I want to know from you guys, from the comments below, like, how do you feel about the whole Sunman line? You know, have you been enjoying collecting them? Are you sad that it's, they're finally, like, they're going away? And you want maybe want more figures? Because, I, like I said, like, I've never heard... Of the Sun Man line at all back in the day, back in the 80s, you know. And you know, if I did, I would, you know, would have been, you know, happy to collect for it and collect for them and stuff like that. But I never, I never heard of them. This is the first time hearing from them about the Sun Man line. I think the first time I heard the Sun Man line was from the Pixel Dan uh, YouTube channel. He was doing one of his toy hunting videos and he came across Pighead and he was like oh, very excited to, you know, own one in his collection. So that was my first, you know, real experience with Pighead. I mean, with the Sunman line, was the Pixel Dan YouTube channel. So yeah, like it's been a lot of fun. It's a really cool character, and I and to me, he's probably like like the worst bad guy out there, because you know Skeletor has got his minions and Hordak and King Hiss have all their bad guys that follow him. Well, he's the only bad guy so far in Sunman. That I know of, unless anyone who is familiar with the Sunman line, you know, can maybe tell me, like, no, there's other bad guys out there. And it'll be probably in, maybe Mattel will, will release them. But if not, you know, I hope they do create some new figures and stuff like that in the Sunman line. But there he is. I'll bring back the. Target exclusive version, right there. One more shot of the pig head line from the Rules of the Sun. All right, guys. Like I said before, I'm very happy to have him, you know, pig head in my collection. A very cool character. Alright guys, I want to take the time out to thank all my subscribers. Have you made it this far in the video and you have to subscribe? Please subscribe guys. I love talking with you guys. You know, all things Master Universe. From Origins to Masterverse to CGI. Hit that like button guys. And hit that notification bell when you know when I upload new videos. And I upload a new video every day. And tomorrow we'll be looking at the first deluxe figure in Wave 9. And that is Snout Sprout. Um, deluxe figure from Wave 9. I can't wait to look at that figure and stuff like that with you guys. So guys, I, I hope you guys have a great Friday and a great weekend. And I'll see you guys on Saturday. Take care, guys.